Yo, so what it is, you guys? Um, update. I am sick. I think it's a bronchitis in my family. It's acting up on me. Um, but I'm okay. I actually been sleeping a lot lately. Um, yeah, that's a bunch of clean clothes I go through to see which ones fit. But that's about it right there. That's all. That's some dirty clothes on my floor. Like I said, I've been sick. Came home from the hospital and... From visiting my grandpa. Well... You know, I don't know about the hit. Right. Yeah, but yeah, I've been sleeping a lot lately. But yeah. It's gotten to a point where I've just been sleeping. I think I might have mono. But. Got this news. I did lose my great. My, he's like grandpa to me. But. I get to graduate early. Which is December 20th, 2019 at 9 a.m. I'll try to see if my dad can like live stream it or something. Or take a video of it so I can post. Um, that's probably him. No, it's PK Gaming. I don't know who that is. Yes, I have a TikTok. I'll actually leave it down in the description below. But. I've been really looking on my phone when I'm not up. When I'm not asleep, I mean. My phone would stop acting up. But yeah. What's up, babies? But yeah, I'll leave it down in the description below for my TikTok. And right now, I'm actually working on a new clothing line, new like kind of thing. But yeah, I was actually, <clears throat> this video is actually an update about 6 9 6 9 snitching. Um, See, I got a few dirty clothes over. Let's 
So, so uh, what happens to Takashi Six Nine now? I one of my videos I did about six seven months ago, maybe five months ago even. Um, maybe December. I don't know yet. Can't remember. But. Daniel Hernandez is Takashi 6'9. 23 year old with long, colorful hair and memorable tattoos on his face and body. Testified last week in Manhattan Federal Court. Hernandez is better known as a Brooklyn rapper Takashi 6'9, who shot to fame in the later half of 2017 thanks to his breakout hit, Gumo, and to his constant and Motorable trolling on social media press, social media and press appearances. Um, last November was he was arrested for on federal racketeering and weapon charges, stemming from his alleged involvement with the nine trade gangsters blood. His arrest was part of a jo joint investigation by the NYPD, the Justice Department Bureau of Alcohol. Tobacco, firearms, and explosives in the Department of Homeland Security. The arrest was rushed, rushed due to investigators worried about that Hernandez's former associates were planning to attack him. He faces the possibility of life in prison. He's, he's 22. What he's been offered is 47 years of life. If he takes his 47 years, 22 plus 47 is 69. Ironic. Um, Hernandez's fame, fame, six, I'm going to call him 69. Six nine's fame had always, always seemed more like a nexus of various controversies than it did traditional music f f fandom. His Instagram stories were covered more div Dutifully than most of his songs in a 2015 sexual misconduct case involving a minor became central to his public identity. Who exactly did Snitch 6 9 snitch on him? That's his topic for this video. He snitched. Hernandez testified in a racketeering case against the two alleged nine trade members, Alar Maya, Nuke, Matt, and... Anthony Harv Allison, the latter accused of kidnapping. Hey, excuse me. The latter accused of kidnapping Hernandez in July 2018. As various points during his testimony, he pointed out for prosecutors, the gang members who appeared in this video for his son Yumo and Kuda, and implicated. The defendants in various violent acts, including assaults and kidnapping, alleged that his former manager, Kifan Ashadi Jordan, was a prominent member of non trade and was also involved in criminal activity. Claimed that Ohio rapper Trippy Red, whom he had attacked along with other non trade members, belonged to a different blood set. So he's going on and doing all this stuff. Called Jim Jones a retired rapper and claimed that he was part of non trade. Alleged that Cardi B was a member of a specific blood set. Admitted that he had ordered the shooting of Chief Keith, who had named who he named as a member of Chicago Gang Black Disciples in June twenty eighteen. Referred to the legendary husband Houston record label rap a lot as not a fucking gang. They're like a wannabe mafia kind of thing. Name rapper Consanova as a member of Rival Blood set. Are his lyrics being used against him? Yes, prosecutors have asked Six Nine about the lyrics in Gumo and they argue that his music contains evidence of organized crimes and gang conspiracies. There is, a, of course,
course, a long and sinister history of rappers' creative work being used against them in court. This decade in New York, Bobby Shmurda's Schmer- music was pre- presented by prosecutors as evidence of real-life crimes in L- Los Angeles right now. Dr- Drake Young, the ruler, is waiting a potential retrial after being acquitted on murder charges that stem from a 2016 shooting. While Draco was shown not to be the gunman, the DA's office is arguing that the shooting is somehow related to a rap beef between Draco and a second rapper who was not even at the party where the shooting took place. And they're using his... Excuse me again. His lyrics... To make this argument. Oh my god. How has hip hop reacted? While the con- con- While the comments have usually assumed the form of jokes. Condemnation. Condem- con- Condemnation of 6 9 has been swift and upcoming. Mick Mill has tweeted his disapproval. Future mocked him as a rat. On his Instagram story, Boozy Badass and 50 Cent laughed at his predicament. Vince Staples has provided a cutting running commentary on Twitter. Snoop Dogg has posted about her name 6 9 numerous times on Instagram, including in an instance where he entrusted 6 9 with his, the com- Comparatively tight lipped Martha Stewart. He he's been sunned by elder statesmen like Fonte and Roy Style Five Nine and newcomers like YBN, Almighty J alike. Some rappers like Mr. Motherfucking Esquire took the I don't know if these are real rapper names or something. I'm reading it off a uh, Vulture. Actually, Walter C. Took the opportunity to remind his fans how many people were fine associated with 6 9 when he was merrily an unhinged troll with a sex crime case hanging over his head. This is Snoop Dogg. This is Snoop Dogg's post. As we watched Takashi 6 9 or whatever his name is, snitch on everybody, I invite you. All to remember Martha Stewart snitched on not one soul during her trial. Baby girl kept it ten toes down and ate that prison sentence by herself. Like the true baddie she is. This is from Snoop Dogg. See. And then Snoop Dogg, that's the picture that he made. And Snoop Dogg said, that's my MF homegirl, solid as a rock. What other details have come about this case? Come out about this case. Earlier this week, George Rivera, who has dri- who was driving Hernandez when Hernandez was allegedly kidnapped by Ellison and other men testified that he had been working. Excuse me. Like I said, I've been sleeping all day. Testified that he had been working as a confidential informant following the, an ICE arrest. It was also reported that Shadi had appealed his 15-year sentence on two federal weapon counts. We're going to look up what ICE means. ICE. Fuck. Open that Chrome. Go here. Google. Ice. Oh. Yeah, I forgot I had I had no internet. So I can't upload this fuck.
I saw people who arrest um, foreign people who have no pa- passport or state were saying that they could be here. What's the future for 6 9 Her- 6 9 faces anywhere from 47 years to life in prison, but in February of this year, he pleaded guilty to nine federal counts and agreed to co- cooperate fully with federal investigators. If he meets the terms of his deal, prosecutors say may write a 5K1 letter, which would permit, though not require, judge to sentence Hernandez below the minimums for his various charges. He is expected to be sent since in January 2020 at a hearing discussed by the deal. Assistant U.S. Attorney Michael Longyear said that it's likely, likely that witness protection will be required, a tall order required. A tall order given Hernandez's truly singular appearance. While many in the music business would li- likely balk at wor- working with Hernandez as his turns as a government witness, it so- stands to reason that it in an unscrupulous tension economy there would be a market for more music and Instagram stories and content from six nine could he ever be released and it, it should be noted that participation it witness protection is a hundred percent voluntary prior to his arrest last fall Hernandez declined FBI protection even when told his, his safety might be compromised. We're going to go to the latest. Update October 8th. It is October 9th today. Hernandez's sentencing, sentencing is in the nine triway racketeering case is now scheduled for December 18th, 2019. His original sentence date was January 24, 2020. Prosecutors revealed in a letter last week that Hernandez's defense team wanted his sentencing moved up. He faces up to life in federal lockup, but is hoping to secure huh. to secure to secure a more lenient sentence following his cooperation with prosecutors. We'll look up like who he snitched on. The charges are uh, racketeering. He just goes on and just tells people like everything we supposedly knows. He doesn't really think he's snitching as he prepares to testify. Legal sources. Controversial rap. That's going to be it for the video, yes. I love you guys. I hope I get better. I love y'all. Peace.